guys, so this episode, or vlog, whatever you want to call it, um, basically what we're doing for now on these uh, videos are just more like commentary on what we're doing here because it's, it's like a stressful time for us. Very stressful. Just like what happened today. Um, it's something like, yeah, we were asking God as well for Adam to have a different job to more to be home with me and stuff like that. But, you know, still making money just because, you know, we need uh, cash money to save up for a van and whatnot and stuff like that. But you want to tell them or? Yeah. Yet again, God, in our life is more like, okay, well, I'll get you out of that situation, but you still got to rely on me. And with this thing that God's doing in our life is it's just right now he's like, so if you guys are going to lean on me, then I'm going to take the most biggest part of this storm for you and have you rely on me for it. And that is money for us right now. And well, I can say that I am no longer a Walmart employee. They ended up firing me, so. And that's not on his part or anything. No. It's, it's because of, though, if anyone worked at uh, Walmart before and stuff like that, and know about Sedgwick and stuff like that, it's basically Sedgwick um, kind of like didn't approve his three days leave what the hospital told him to call off. Yep, for. pretty much. So now he had like 10 points just because the hospital told him to call off and work agreed on that too. And it's just, it's so, so much with that. But um, we're not going to stress over it because he can get unemployment um we're gonna go have him go over to there and file that in the morning mm -hmm. yeah but basically um this video um when we the first the first day you see here um we went um an lj um basically we went out and uh so uh, part of the video, I am explaining how we almost lost Ray. That was scary. <laughs> it, it it was very scary. I mean, I uh, that day was so stressful, and I I want I, there are babies. Yeah, there are basically our kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. And though Ray did end up realizing what she had done, and was like. Whoa, or where Daddy, she was help. Go going, <laughs> or what is this place? Yeah, so she she at one point just stopped and looked at me and just was like, "Okay, yeah, I get it." But and then also right after that, we kind of did run into a situation, another situation, and that was the tent. The tent was. A three-person tent but <laughs> yeah. it was a three-person tent as in you lay next to each other and that's all the room you got so it's like yeah it was so small so we ended yeah. up we ended up getting a couple other stuff and we're excited to show you guys with that it, it's really nice so, it, we set that up today yeah we, so we're, when we're setting up this tent in this episode too is um we had a uh, the cats run like chain up run around and stuff like that and we secured Ray's harness a little bit tighter on her just because it wasn't du durable like uh, the one have the one that April has and we just found out yesterday that they don't Walmart does not sell them anymore we were at Tractor Supply today, too, and we could have checked for a harness. <laughs> and we didn't. Yeah, we could do that, but... We could check that later on. It would be yeah. nice. It's what we're aiming for, but... Yeah, so... Um... Campsite now is really looking like a home, though. It, it really is getting there. Yeah. So... 
So basically what we're doing is as well as um uh, well the tent was easy to put up. Mm -hmm. I mean it was no problem at all or anything. No, not at all. Um, after the stress of the cats well, Ray running off just because she got spooked. Mm hmm Um how she got spooked was they were was spraying the off spray on them. There's each other, themselves, whatever. Yeah, the bug spray. Yeah. And Made a loud shh in there. She's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so she kind of got loose and I freaked out and I grabbed April because she got spooked as well. And uh, Adam pretty much went off to her with her. Mm-hmm. And one thing to keep in mind, if your cat does squat, run away, you want to not chase them. You just want to walk with them and kind of experience walking around with them so that they see, oh, you're with me, you're not chasing me, you're not mad at me. If I come to you, everything's going to be okay, you know. And she did come back with mommy, and she was kind of trying to make sure she wasn't going to get in trouble by mommy, but also making sure mommy was okay, so that was good. Yeah. <laughs> mommy as in Brittany. You know, like a lot of people probably will say that, you know, they're cats, they're going to run away, you know, not come out back, whatever, but um, Adam, Adam's mom has cats, and they're indoor and outdoor cats. Mm -hmm. And when they get used to around the area, they know their way back home for food, you know, comfort, you know, sleep, whatever. But yeah. um, I don't know if I will lean to the part of letting them off of leases mm -mm. until they fully know where they live are living at. Yeah, and because still I'm a I bit could, of I could see Ray running back where Bear, Bear lives. I could see that, and then also I'm iffy with them crossing the roads because they aren't yeah. used to that, and people in Bradford are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> so much. it's like, yeah, but I mean, e even the walk up there, it's beautiful, but it's kind of hard, but we're getting used to it, and it's, it's doable. Mm -hmm. It's actually nice. It's not too bad, and it's up far enough away from other people, and it's just... It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. God is really going to work well with us in this. And I, I think it's something that's actually going to work. It, it's something that... It, it's just really awesome. So... So, Eldridge's not here to explain of uh, his experience of cutting down the tree. But, um, Adam, if you want to say what... It was fun I actually didn't ever really get to experience that because Daniel my brother was more the older brother he was more of the big brother you know so my dad more focused on that whenever we did go camping people would focus with him more I was just a little kid who wasn't I guess mature enough to hold an axe Hi, but the cool thing Hi. was that when I saw my dad and Daniel and all that, I know how to use a hatchet. So it was fun to actually explain to LJ, you know, how you use a hatchet to cut. You don't cut straight down, you oh cut gosh. like in a V. But it was fun. The axe that we got is a very good quality and blessing from God. The saw, as you could see, it just mowed oh, yeah. through it. it. That was it, so good. It's really nice. But it will be easy for us to get kindling and firewood and stuff. It's really fun. It's good exercise with it too, honestly, gosh. <laughs> but So hmm. we didn't film today just because it was um so stressful with him losing his job and trying to yeah. we we both sold our Xboxes. Just because we needed money for water and stuff like that, and we just needed to get out a place with other living with people and stuff like that. It's just living with other people is, in general, you know, especially the ones that doesn't want to have any relationship with Jesus Christ. And I mean, but I, there's like yeah. the couple people that we lived with 
do have relationships with Jesus Christ, but it's just like it's that overwhelming feeling of, you know, one of them, you know, played video games and the other one is like did Meh. did know the God and it, yeah, so it was like eh. But um and, uh, this mean, situation right here um what we have here too is like one of them is like really want a relationship with him and the other one is like struggling so just con continue praying for them um mm -hmm. pray for their safe journey back to texas because um really gonna miss her and the girls mm. i am yeah but. and i'm not saying that god caused uh, all this to happen and stuff but i do know that his focus for us right now is to be totally focused on him and to be able to able to grow in him and concentrate on him and it's not that he's not saying that you know we won't be able to have an xbox at a later time it, it, we will we won't but the thing is is i think that was more of his focus to be able to have us to get rid of those and circumstances took it that way but we we're more leaning on keeping one but I think it was better this way anyways it, it's a lot of weight off our back of you know having to store things places for with people and stuff so to really set your mind on God you really have to have things out of the back of your mind you know those especially, things that you're letting people especially have, you know. is what he had been saying to me is don't have ties to anything you know yeah any part of the world you got to you got to be mobile you know i mean if he if we had a right backpack and stuff like that and if we didn't have the cats um i would be willing to walk to state to state or you know get a bike and bike to state to state you know yeah and live that way but it's just like right now is i prayed for place for us your for ourselves adam don't have a job so we can both do this you know and you know be with each other because our love yeah of course is still young but it's still going to be young and forever and it's not going to just have like we're going to be like so giddy and lovey-dovey until five years and we're like you know sick of each other we're gonna be us and we're always gonna be us and i think this love that god's placed on our heart for each other is a young love that god made it to be so it's kind of to the point where it's like yeah some things might mature a little but it's okay to love each other in the way God has placed it in your heart to be. But, I mean, this is just something that God is doing for us that is to not necessarily put us to that maturity level of, you know, that after five years this is going to do this. It's more of to the point where as we're strong together we have a foundation with jesus christ before we go off into the world and travel and do this stuff you know so that we actually have answers for people who have questions and who are struggling and stuff and a and lot that. of a lot of getting here is really helping us have a more firm foundation and our balance in jesus christ we're not just able to be bumped and that we just fall over we're able to actually keep our balance with him you know so it's it's really cool it's like learning how to walk but learning how to walk with jesus christ you fall and you keep on getting back up and eventually you're walking with him you'll be able to run with him you'll be able to go anywhere cross any terrain with him you know sometimes it may be mountain climbing sometimes it may be you know it, it it's amazing your walk with jesus christ but so with all that said it's this home that we are creating and god is guiding and giving us the blueprints for this place that we're staying at now is turning to be beautiful 
Um, we will probably still uh, post once in a while. We don't know if it's going to be twice, three times a week, or once a week, or whatever. Um, continue praying for us. Uh, but you probably see more videos like this without our intro and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I, I, we are look, well, working on a new intro and a banner for our new YouTube and a new name for this channel. Yes. Um, so uh, we won't be back regularly vlogging until we get those three main things got done. Yeah. But... But it's more aiming towards the setting of what we're living in, too. So you guys should be excited for our new name and stuff and seeing this style that we're, our life is more revolving around in Jesus Christ and stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. We're excited. A lot of the stuff is already looking really cool that Brittany's working on with editing. So you guys will definitely have to give it a thumbs up. You guys will definitely have to... You know, stay tuned for all that stuff. That's it's it's getting really cool. So, yep. And don't forget to uh, like if you guys like this video. Uh, comment down below. Um, to get if you guys have done this, let us know what your struggles were and what how you got through it. Because you know, it, it's definitely not easy, but it's definitely doable. So, yep, and uh, make sure you guys share to your friends, um, subscribe definitely. Yep. And um, if we get more subscribers every single day, that would be awesome. Um, just to support us, you guys, in the in our journey and everything, and watch how God is gonna bless this, and um, yeah, yep. Yeah. 